I'm Birmingham City Schools Communications Officer Cheryl Stewart here with an exciting update from our superintendent, Dr. Mark Solomon. Dr. Solomon, good to see you. Good seeing you, Cheryl. So, so tell me, what's going on in Birmingham City Schools? I'm hearing a lot out there. Well, Cheryl, every year the U.S. Department of Education recognizes a handful of schools across the nation as National Blue Ribbon Schools. This year, one of our very own schools in our school district, Epic Elementary School, was recognized as a National Blue Ribbon School. Uh, you know, national, the National Blue Ribbon Schools designation is one of the top awards that a school can receive. Schools are awarded this because they are an exemplary high-performing school or they have exemplary, they're exemplary in closing the achievement gap or both. You know, this is the second time that EPIC has received this designation as a National Blue Ribbon School, and we are proud of the entire team at EPIC, whether you are the teachers or the principal, the custodian lunchroom workers, our, their families at EPIC, as well as the scholars, as well as the entire community that supports EPIC Elementary School. We are proud of all of the work that they do. So what's next for EPIC? So we have plans, uh, Cheryl, to celebrate this accomplishment, and we have the details that we're going to be announcing those pretty soon. Uh, but as far as the future of Epic Elementary School, I am certain that they will continue to do great things and we will continue to see great accomplishments that are coming from the scholars at Epic Elementary. Now, Dr. Solon, we are nearing the end of the 20-day counting period for ADM. Just talk to us a little bit about what that means. So Cheryl, ADM is the average daily membership, and that is the number that the state calculates based on regular enrollment and attendance for our schools. Uh, this number is used to determine the amount that the state of Alabama would contribute towards educating the scholars that we have. It tells you how many teachers you're gonna have for the school year uh, at each school, as well as for the district. So we are really uh, excited uh, to announce some things that are coming soon with our ADM. Well, that's right. Now, for a while, we've seen a decline in enrollment in Birmingham City Schools and in many urban districts across the country. Do you see any changes possibly forthcoming with that trend? Well, yes, I do, Cheryl. You know, I have been in the school system for 30 years, and for the 30 years I've been here, we've been talking about declining enrollment. But if the numbers hold true this year, Birmingham City Schools will see the first positive enrollment that we've seen in a very, very long time. That's great. Now, now talk about what's behind that change. That just doesn't happen automatically. What happens? How, what makes it happen? So we recognize that our families have choices and we know that uh, there's a lot of competition out there. There are uh, there are uh, charter schools, there are other school districts, and so for that reason we really have been intentional about retaining and recruiting students to Birmingham City Schools. As you know, we've been telling our own story and we have a lot of people who know the benefits of a BCS education because success truly does start here in Birmingham City Schools. We've also invested in customer service initiatives. We, uh, we want our students and our families to have good experiences when they come to our schools so that they want to return every single year. And along with, with that, it's a lot that we've partnered with a company that follows up with students who have been withdrawn from our school system and we want to make sure that we, we work to attract those scholars back to BCS. That seems like a lot of work, Dr. Solon. But you know, Cheryl, it is a worthwhile, worthwhile effort. Uh, we have some of the best educators in the state of Alabama and throughout the nation uh, who are working daily in this school district. Our students have the best opportunity for success when they are in one of our schools. Now, speaking about success, did you hear about the great work that the students in the Academy of Architecture and Construction at Huffman High School did recently uh, with BCS under the lights. You know, sure, I, I really, I really did. I saw the desks that they refurbished for our broadcast production. In fact, I saw it a couple of weeks ago, used on live on air. But I saw it before that as they were building it out. So I'm really proud of the work that happens at the Academy of Architecture at uh, Huffman High School. Now, this story gives a glimpse inside the academy and the work of these outstanding scholars. From Birmingham to the world, this is BCS Under the Lights. If you've been watching season three of BCS Under the Lights, you may have noticed a few upgrades with our broadcast set. 
We've gone from talent sitting on stools to now sitting behind a refurbished news desk. Do you all think the set looks good? Absolutely. 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 ESPN-ish. I, we're top notch. And everything is better here. The tabletop of the desk actually sat on another much larger and heavier desk. CBS 42 News upgraded their news broadcast set years ago and donated the desk to Birmingham City Schools. Huffman High School's Academy of Architectural and Construction instructor taxed his students with refurbishing the desk as a class project. First of all, we try and find out what the need is, uh, how it best serves the uh, commentators. We decided to add a couple legs for stability. Um, there were some empty cavities here. We had some materials left over from another project. Ovin Bardella's role was to paint the bottom of the disc. He told me to start on the bottom part. So I start painting all the bottom part and then he told me to, like, to paint the top part. It just took me like, like one hour to paint it. it. It wasn't too much. It's a fun project. The students really have to adapt. They have to think outside the box using leftover materials what scraps we have, just learning to do those things to be able to modify whatever we have. As far as the other part of the original desk. So we are going to build a separate top that's going to be mounted directly and fastened to this desk. It has lights, uh, small LEDs, so we're going to leave that there. This is what the finished product looks like. This particular desk will now be used in the BCS Media Studios at Phillips Academy. Meanwhile, the students in this academy have worked on all sorts of easy to complex projects like constructing those widely popular tiny homes. The students use high-tech computer drafting software such as AutoCAD in their architectural class to create blueprints of those tiny homes. As you may remember, one of those homes was donated to a family in North Carolina. Darren Alexander has been in this academy for a year and wants to work in construction after joining the Marines. Like instead of paying somebody an extreme amount of money to build a house, you can potentially lower that cost knowing how to do this stuff and build it your own self. He wants to flip homes in the future. It's amazing to see something that's old and abandoned and you can, you know, use your skills in, in order to make that into something beautiful. What's even more incredible, these students are offered internships and externships with companies such as Brassville and Gorey, while in high school. They can graduate from Huffman and get construction-related jobs that are paying high salaries. I'm Fred Davenport, BCS Media. Sure, before we go, I want to make a, give a special shout out to the students at George Washington Carver High School and at Ramsey High School. Many of these scholars will be voting for the first time this year. They registered and they participated in a voter education workshop on October the 1st and October the 3rd. You know, uh, this uh, was done in partnership with the Birmingham chapter of the Lynx Incorporated, with the NAACP of Metro Birmingham, Black Voters Matter, uh, the Foot Soldiers, as well as with the SGA and the National Society of Black Engineering Students at each of those high schools. You know, we teach our students uh, every day about the electoral process, but it's important that our students and everyone exercises that right to vote. You know, election day is on November the 5th, 2024. So we want to make sure that all of our students who are eligible to vote, anybody who's listening, who's eligible to vote, go out on the vote on November the 5th. Thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan, for this update. Look forward to hearing from you in the future. Birmingham City Schools, success starts here. Mm -hmm.